In previous testing, I compared eight different 3-inch propellers against one another. After buying a couple packs of your choice winner, you've come to realize that you need a motor to make it spin. To help with that, I've acquired five different tiny motors for comparative testing, and each of them should be capable of fulfilling this task. The only question is, which one will do it best? Let's find out. Recursion Labs For Science to test each motor against one another, I will test them using my automated variable controlled motor testing methodology, which you can find more about in the video linked in the description. Each motor will be tested at 16 volts using the 3 inch HQ prop 3 blade 3 inch pitch propeller, which stood out in the 3 inch propeller test video also linked in the video description, and should give them a decent amount of load. The motors being tested today are Flywoo NIN 1404 V2 3750 kV David C branded motor. This motor was measured at an actual 3761 kV, 0.3% over spec. iFlight Ching X1404 3800 kV motor measured at an actual 3746 kV 1% under spec. T Motor F1404 3800 kV motor measured at an actual 3772 kV 0.7% under spec. Emax 1306B B2 4000 kV motor measured at an actual 3928 kV 1.9% under spec. Brother Hobby VY1504.5 3950 kV motor measured at an actual 3735 kV 3.8% under spec. Now for the weigh-in. I weighed these motors using my calibrated scale, accurate to a 0.01 grams. The motor wireless have all been cut to the exact same length. The heaviest motors are no surprise, with the Brother Hobby and Emax coming in at 45.8 and 44.5 grams per quadcopter. What is surprising is the weight variance in the 1404 motors, with the Flywoo coming in at 42.3 grams, only 3.5 grams less than the Brother Hobby 1504.5. The team motor is an impressive lightweight, only coming at 36.2 grams, which is 6 grams lighter than the Flywoo. The iFlight weight is in the middle of the two and is 2.6 grams per quadcopter heavier than the T motor. One difference is that the T motor and iFlight motors have a smaller base than the Flywood, which clearly saves weight. With the weigh in complete, we can now start testing. Let's start with thrust. The Emax takes the lead at the start, but at about 55% throttle, the Brother Hobby maintains a marginal overall lead. With the 1404 motors, the Flywood and the iFlight motors are grouped at the bottom, with the iFlight performing the worst. The T motor is clearly ahead across the entire throttle range, closer to the heftier motors. Enhance. Looking closer at the first 40 grams of thrust, you can see the T motor and the Brother Hobby dancing with one another, basically tied, where after that the Brother Hobby maintains a clear lead across the remainder of the throttle range. Let's look at how efficient that thrust is for the same motor utilization. Wow! The T motor clearly stands out at being the most efficient, without exception. The Flywoo starts out near the top and then slowly falls down to the bottom for the remainder of the throttle range. The iFlight motor hangs around the middle for efficiency for the entire throttle range. The Brother Hobby and Emax motors are hanging out, chilling at the bottom for efficiency, mostly equal with the exception of the Brother Hobby being mostly better for the first 25% of the throttle. Combining the data, we get the most important metric, watts of power required to generate each gram of thrust. Given the last two charts, it is no surprise to see the T-Motor clearly stand out as being the efficiency leader for every gram of thrust it poops out. Enhance! For the first 100 grams of thrust, the T-Motor has a sizable lead, with the Emax and Brother Hobby motors being the least efficient, and the other 1404 motors hanging out in the middle being clearly outclassed. From 100 to 250 grams of thrust, the lead grows for the T-Motor motor, with all other motors converging with the power required to deliver thrust. But this changes with the 1404 motors becoming less efficient starting around 200 grams of thrust, where the Brother Hobby starts to become more efficient comparatively. For the last 100 grams, the T-Motor maintains its lead, with the iFlight capping out on thrust the earliest, followed a little more than 10 grams of thrust later by the Flywoo. The T-Motor beats them both in efficiency and thrust, generating more than 20 grams in the second best. The Brother Hobby ends with the most thrust over the T-Motor by almost 30 grams, and the Emax by about 10 grams. The Brother Hobby ends with the most thrust over the T-Motor by almost 30 grams, and the Emax by about 10 grams. The Brother Hobby also edges out the Emax in efficiency at the top end. Well, I think the winner here is clear. The T-Motor is the lightest by a significant margin, and can deliver the most thrust per watt, requiring a smaller battery to deliver both performance and flight times. The other 1404 motors are clearly outclassed, and the heftier motors add weight and battery drain to get a little bit more top end. The combination of lightweight motors and smaller battery requirements combined creates some really lightweight 3-inch build opportunities, and I've already put them on my two performance Vista HD 3-inch builds, coming in at a dry weight of 107.2 and 108.5 grams each, or 191.9 and 193.3 grams all up weight with the 750 milliamp forest battery, which actually feels a bit overkill for these motors. If anyone thinks they have a T-mount motor that can compete, or just wants to see how it will perform comparatively, and would like to donate it to science, please reach out to me using my contact information in the video description. I'd be happy to put in the work to test
test more. I now have T-mount propellers of all sizes and types, so I'll be able to test any T-mount motor moving forward. I wonder what happens if we try higher pitch propellers, or more propellers. Looks like I have more to test.